following your heart, following your passion, what you like. And that means that you are going to fall into a lot of different things, finding things that is not your passion. Mm. And be okay with that because that is part of life's journey. That's so beautiful. So actually, what we want to, people encourage to take opportunities in life, try different things and then find out what is the thing they feel good mm. by doing it. Or... The problem is a lot of people, they fear venturing out to doing things that, oh, what if I don't enjoy it? If you don't enjoy it, don't do it again. Next one. Namaste creators from all around the world. I am extremely excited to be back here in another episode, Ask Master Anything. I'm Paulina and today, of course, I'm with Master Shri Akashana. Namo Himalaya Master. Namo Himalaya. Thank you, Master, for being here, for dedicating your valuable time to our creators. Thank you. And today we've got amazing question from Given Garfield. That's very interesting, Nick as well. And the question is, Namaste, Master Shri Akashana. How do you discover your life purpose? Very big question. Mm. So, mm, I always say, uh, if you want to find your purpose, you have to be purposeful. Let's say, for example, um, let's say a lot of the time we do cooking together. Mm. Huh? Um, you'll notice a lot of the time when I'm cooking, I'm going to ask you, if you're free, you will not see me ask Joshua. You will not uh, see me ask Sabrina. You will not see me ask other people. Why do I ask you? Because I feel that you are most purposeful in the kitchen. There are certain things, other things that I would ask you, for example, recording videos or for, uh, for example, social media or something like that, you know, or YouTube, for example, there's certain things I'll ask you. Or maybe because I know you're purposeful when you are, uh, you are good at working fast, for example. If anything needs to be done fast, I'll probably ask you, you see. So this is all of the areas that you are purposeful in. So when you have more areas that you're purposeful in, then what happens? Then it's easier for you to find your purpose. Hmm. Let's say, for example, mm, right now you know how to record videos. You know how to edit videos. Maybe two years ago you didn't know. Definitely not. Okay, so two years ago, if I said, what's your purpose? You would have never said, mm, filming. Mm. Because that was not a choice for you. And this is the problem with most people. Most people are just looking around saying, what is my purpose? What is my purpose? What is my purpose? Then they will sit there and do nothing until they find their purpose. But they can't find it. Because they don't take actions. They're not venturing out. Mm. They're not exploring. They're not trying. It's just like some people who say, um, mm, how do I uh, find the love of my life? Right? Well, actually, you may, you may have found yourself as well, a lot of people that are not the love of your life. You find the love of your life by finding what's not the love of your life. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you finding what food you like by knowing what food you don't like, right? Yeah. You find out your fashion, what works for you by wearing and realizing some things don't work for you. Mm. And so I think the biggest thing for most people should be, be willing to follow your heart, venture out and try different things. Mm. Learn new skills, learn different things. Try a bit of that, try a bit of that. I had to do six years of franchising to know that I didn't like it. I had to work in restaurants, so I set up my restaurant business. I had to do uh, foreign exchange trading to realize that I don't like looking at computers. You see, I had to do all of these different things. So then, okay, ah, now I've got all these skills in different areas. And then now I can say, hey, uh, now when I ask myself, what's my purpose? I say, I can uh, speak and empower people help people in this world by reaching out to millions of people around the world. 10 years ago, I couldn't have said that because I was not confident. I was the shy kid. I didn't know speaking. Um, I didn't know spirituality and I don't know how to meditate and help people or practice yoga. So I could not have done what my purpose is now. If I had sat at home thinking, oh, what is my purpose? 
being a spiritual teacher would never have came. How did I find this purpose? Is by venturing, learning, acquiring new knowledge, testing, following your heart, following your passion, what you like. And that means that you are going to fall into a lot of different things, finding things that is not your passion. Mm. And be okay with that because that is part of life's journey. That's so beautiful. So actually, what we want to, people encourage to take opportunities in life, try different things and then find out what is the thing they feel good with. By doing it or the problem is a lot of people they fear venturing out to doing things that oh what if i don't enjoy it if you don't enjoy it don't do it again next one you see yeah. right it's the same thing with food right what if i don't like it then don't eat it again right but people are fearful of trying that's why they never find their purpose wow that's so powerful and actually the answer is super easy mm. just take action mm. just go different places mm -hmm. try different things learn new things new learn skills, new acquire things. new knowledge mm. That's really amazing, Master. Thank you so much. I want everyone to jump to that link first in the descriptions, which is a Discord. We've got amazing, huge, supportive community. You can also find in the Discord a um, small room, which is called Ask Master Anything. So for those of you who are wondering how to ask Master a question, this is a place. You can drop your questions there and every week we're going to be selecting questions and they will be featured on the AMA show. Thank you so much, guys. For those of you who enjoyed that video, please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel so you'll be always aware of new AMA shows, of new questions and new beautiful answers and knowledge coming from that video. And also smash that notification bell icon so you won't miss any video. And for today, thank you, Master, so much. Namo Himalaya. Namo Himalaya. Thank you, everybody.